Fondant and firming agents, one of the most important things to remember for any sugar craft making is to make sure that your fondant is prepared in the correct way. In this video we're going to show you right from the start upwards the difference between the firming agents and how to get the best results. I'm going to show you how to get the very best from your sugar paste and fondant. Lots of people choose to use flour paste for their flours. I don't like flour paste because I don't believe that it's truly palatable. It is edible, but in terms of being able to eat it, it's not ideal. And for cupcakes, they're pretty small already. We don't want to pick loads of stuff off of them. So what I've got here is I've got about 200 grams of simple white off-the-shelf supermarket fondant. And this is CMC. There are three different firming agents. You have got CMC, Tylose powder and gum tragosanth. Each one is slightly different and my personal preference is always CMC. To every 100 grams of fondant, we need a quarter of a teaspoon of CMC. And we flatten out our fondant and we sprinkle this CMC powder on like sugar onto a pancake. We pat it in so as it doesn't puff out everywhere when we start to roll it up. We roll this fondant and to a pancake shape and we push it in on itself. Now it's really important that we work this through effectively and you should be kneading it like bread dough. You'll find that the fondant starts to separate away on itself slightly as this powder goes into it. You really need to work it through and once you have worked it through you'll need to wrap it in cling film and allow it to firm up for between six and eight hours before you use it. If you're using it for pearls or moulded pieces, you can probably get away with four. But if it's for fine detailed work like flowers and butterflies, we really need to give it the full amount of time. Once this is worked through, we wrap it tightly in cling film and then we pop it into a Ziploc bag. You can do this weeks and weeks in advance for preparation. If you do do it weeks in advance or if you want to keep this after having used it the first time, it's important that you work this every seven days. So you unwrap it and you take it back down to an elastic consistency. And I'm going to explain that now. So this piece is ready to be wrapped now. This is just a white fondant. We're going to pass this over to the side. Here, I have a piece of fondant which has been treated for probably four or five days. And I want to show you when this fondant is ready to use for your cake craft. I've just unwrapped this, it hasn't been warmed at all, and you can see that when I pull it, it just snaps. There's no elasticity in it, and we have to remember that CMC is adding elasticity. And the way that we get this back to being in an elastic state is that we work it and we warm it. Now, if you don't have the strength in your hands to do this, put, pop your bag of fondant in a Ziploc bag and leave it on the radiator or in the airing cupboard for 10 minutes. Um, so as it will come back to a really stretchy elastic consistency. And what I'm doing is I'm just working this between my hands. A friction roll, which is this roll here, works really well to get the heat into the fondant and bring it back to its elastic state. I'm rubbing it really firmly between my hands. And what we're looking for is a really stretchy chewing gum elastic consistency. So what you can see, if I pull this, we get that chewing gum pull. Now, what I want you to notice here is this isn't quite ready. And the reason it's not quite ready is because I can still see a granular texture in here. And that shouldn't be apparent. So we go back and we work it a little bit more. One of the main reasons people don't have success with fondant is because it isn't warm enough before they start to use it. It should be there now. So we pull, and you can see how much stretch we've got on that. So let me just show you back now on a comparison. This is the piece I've just warmed up, and this was the piece that came out of the wrapper. We couldn't possibly use this. It would give us a brittle, dry result. If you want to get the best from your fondant, 
make sure that you warm it, make sure that you work it well and make sure that you treat it before you start.